Class Relief should help. Claim entered on the six. Third choice as they move in behind the gate at five to one is seven. Famous Mark, classy veteran, was an impressive winner on March 29th. He was an impressive runner-up on April the 5th, but he was an unimpressive favorite, beaten 12 and a quarter lengths when asked to do the first overwork last time out. McLean turns the lines over to Jody Jameson tonight. We'll see if the veteran can regain his mojo. He's a 53-time winner, but he was badly beaten in his latest. Here they come. They're off and trotting, and the Monday card is underway at Woodbine. Fantastic start for Amigo Loco out in post six. Extreme outside. Ship's exceptional is on the gas pedal early. The Prowler is away neatly at the rail third. Famous Mark is called on for early speed as he drives up for position from in fourth. Taken back in the center to be along fifth is Wild Wind. Then Feisty Love is buried sixth in at the pylons. Further back to be seventh is... Quit smoking now, racing along further back towards the rail from an eighth. There goes Monarch Sealster. Back there, ninth is Quantum Antonio. And the trailer from a tenth is Rebel Windsong. Trotters by the quarter in a quick clip of 26 and 1. Ship's exceptional. Burned up a lot of energy to make the lead. Pocket pulling on that one. The claimed horse Amigo Loco goes for it all right now. Here to the outside. Quit smoking now. Parked out from in third. The rail from in fourth belongs to Famous Mark. Then inside fifth is the Prowler. Gearing up from the back. Field. Wild Wind is sixth and on the march now. Quickly moving up as the field motors by the midway point. A rock solid panel here, 55 and 4. As taking the field to the far turn is Amigo Loco, but under demanding fractions. Second on the outside, quit smoking now. Has been out the route. In at the rail from third is Ships Exceptional on cover. Wild Wind covered times two for Monarch Sealster moving up into fifth outside now. Then sixth locked up is Famous Mark. He'll need room. The Prowler is seventh. Winding up from the backfield, eighth comes Quantum Antonio and it's three wide time for Monarch Sealster says Scott Zeron who flips her out in the center of the racetrack and steps on the accelerator three quarters in 126 and they come into the stretch Amigo Loco the one to catch Amigo Loco still there by three open lengths but Monarch Sealster starts to draw the bead on her as they come up towards the final 16th still there Amigo Loco Monarch Sealster is bearing down and coming on and here's Monarch Sealster on the outside to pick up the pieces late Monarch Sealster will reach up to win the even money favorite delivers second best amigo loco famous market traffic troubled third 155 two fifths